Tinker, Cherrywood Pets Garage. We got a Class C motorhome. It's a 83 Ford Econoline. It's got a non-working water heater. And we're gonna take a look at it here and see if we can make it work. I haven't looked at it, so let's go ahead and uh, take a peek at it and see what we can do about it. Mm -hmm. Let's go. So let's go back here and look at it. I think it is a Suburban, but don't hold me to that because it says on there that it's a or something like that, that American Appliance Company. So I'm not sure what it is exactly in there, but we're going to get to it here and uh, check her out. She's a little, she's a little crusty. I hit her with a little W, little WD, little magic sauce. You know what I mean? And uh, we're going to get to it here and uh, ooh, there's a screw in there too. All right, well let's let's figure it out. Let's start by taking these screws here out. way it goes when I do stuff. Am I getting in the way here? I hope not. Unit, unit, unit troll. So I hope, I'm hoping that's good, but like I said, I don't know. It might have some big, well, might be full of critters in there. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it's not looking too bad in there. I don't see not too much in there. I know I got to take these out. Let's go ahead and take one out. I wonder if I, I wonder if I just take it off here, or if that's just. A, I wonder if that just loosens it up. I wonder if this is just a collar. Is this just a collar? Oh, there's a nut on the back of that. Hmm. All right. Let's see here. I'm a little worried about it. Take true. That's loose. That comes off. Came off really easy. It just pulls out. Yeah, thermal coupler. That's good. Which way it turns. Let's see something here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this face off. Go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and take it loose here. That's backwards. Is that backwards thread? Uh, that don't look like it. This thing's loose. And the housing. I'm gonna take the whole thing out. Re Rebuild. She broke it loose. She broke loose. Well, I got this out. I had to use some vice grips, so I kind of ruined the nut a little bit. But I got it out of there. She's pretty crusty. Yeah, I still gotta get this off of there because. that out of there but I wasn't expecting it but a bunch of water poured out I got all over me and the tools I guess I'm gonna take that out and see 
There's no handle rod in this thing, I guess. I broke the ears off of that. Oh, I went ahead and got that off of there. I know you didn't, I didn't show you. I just pushed this in and twisted that off with a big pair of chin locks. Wasn't that big a deal. So I'm gonna take this out. I broke the ears off of that. I'm trying to mess with it with a vice grips or a, that there. I might have to put heat on it, I don't know. I'm gonna use a six point socket and uh, see if I can get that out of there. Yeah, oh, yeah it's gonna go just like that. I have to re I'm gonna replace it anyway because it's all rusty. And it's gonna have more water rush out of it anyway. I'm gonna get out of the way a little bit. I have a whole lot of water rush out of it. Ugh. I want to give you a little update on the control valve for the heater. I couldn't really find the right one for it. I bought one. It was the wrong one. So I bought one for an Atwood. This is an American American Water American Heat Water, Water Heater Corporation, something like that. I don't know. But anyway, they make them for the how for homes, but uh, they they don't make. I don't think they make them for RVs anymore. But anyway, I can't find the, the correct one. So what I found online was people are using, I think they're using the Atwood. So I bought an Atwood one. The thing is, it doesn't have the uh, right fitting for it. And I'll show you that here in a minute. That side ain't feeling right. I put, uh, so I got this fastened in. Got this all back in. I've had to redo this like five times. Get this all put in. I just used silicone, silicone, put it back all in there. I got a piece of wood in here to hold that back in there. I don't know if I told you all that or not, but that's the way it is. This is this is temporary. This has got rotten wood everywhere. So I took some of this turbine, 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 whatever how you say it, turbine, turbine, and I made it. This is where the water is going to come back out. And I bought some trim that goes in here that's going to cover this up brand new. I don't have it out here, but I'll show you. But uh, pretty much it bolts in. This is fastened in where it won't come in and out. It was sliding in and out of there, and it's fastened in now. And uh, that's where I'm at. Uh, these are inverted flares. This here, this pipe here is a, a inverted flare. And the one that uh, I bought for it before was wrong, wrong side. So I couldn't even use it anyway, it was the wrong kind. So like I said, I bought the Atwood one and I'll show you that when I had to buy some, I don't know why I couldn't find them anywhere. I mean, I looked on Granger, I looked everywhere and I couldn't find an inverted flare. It's kind of like a uh, brake line, like an inverted brake line, but I couldn't find it anywhere in the size I needed. Now maybe they make a different Atwood that, that accepts these, but I couldn't find the right model number. And I bought this one and I ain't returning it. I'm just going to adapt it to make it work. It is for propane and I'm just going to make it work. So I had to buy these bolts for it and I'll show you, I had to re-drill the top one because I guess uh, the Atwood, I found the trim piece and I guess the Atwood piece is the, 
the hole is, is over here instead of there. All right, I know I'm talking too long, but.